Hi, my name is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God. And the reason I look like this today is because I'm getting ready to be in a production with a cast of over 100 and live animals at my church tonight. But today I want to share with you what I call Easter in an eggshell. Because 30 years ago to the day of Easter, I went to church, I heard the Easter message and I understood it for the very first time and I got saved. So I want you to understand what Easter is all about. So I'm going to share with you Easter in an eggshell. And I'm Robin Bremer, and here goes. So in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and he created the earth for man. In Genesis 1, it says that God gave earth to man, and he said, subdue it, rule, and have dominion over the earth. Now, Satan came into the garden, in the, he borrowed the body of a serpent, and he deceived Adam and Eve into not believing what God said, but to believing in the devil. And he usurped them, he took their authority and dominion, and he became the God, the head, the authority, the king of this earth. Because it was given, the authority and dominion was given to man, but Satan stole it from man. So everything that man was supposed to be doing on the earth, um, had the power to do, Satan now took it. Now, like becomes like, and so everyone born after Adam and Eve, because Satan was now their lord, their master, and um, their father, then everybody after them became just like him and had his sin nature. Okay, so man lived on the earth with his sin nature, with Sev Satan as their ruler. In the but God had a plan. He wanted to redeem mankind, but he made the rule that man has authority and dominion, and he wasn't going to go back and not be a person of his word. He said that man has authority and rule and dominion, so he couldn't come in and destroy the earth and, and build a new man and start over. So he had to work through the man that he created. So he, he created, um, the, the penalty for sin was death. So he made a covenant, a blood covenant with Abraham, and he said, I'll bless your descendants, and I'll do this and this for you, and you do this for me. And what a blood covenant is, it's two people or two groups of people that exchange each other's strengths and weaknesses. Um, the weakness of one group um, for the strengths of the other group. So God made a blood covenant with Abraham, and they became blood partners. Everything that was one belonged to the other. And so as the process of time goes by, um, God proved himself to Abraham, and Abraham proved himself to God. What one member of the covenant did, the other member had to do. God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son. And this is a thing that uh, freaks out a lot of people because they don't understand this. But because God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son, now God was required to sacrifice his son. So instead of uh, Abraham just had to lift the knife and had to be willing to sacrifice his son. And God said stop and he gave him a sacrificial ram instead of his son. Now, um, as you go through process of time, um, the, the Israelites were in bondage um, and uh, the Pharaoh would not let them go and worship God. So all the plagues came on them. But the last plague was the firstborn of every member of all the families would die. But God wanted to protect his covenant partners because that's part of the covenant. So God said, take a spotless lamb for each family, sacrifice it, and eat it with your shoes on, ready to escape. Take the blood of the lamb, smear it over the doorpost, and when the death angel goes by, the death angel will see that blood and will realize that I'm in blood covenant with you, and the death angel cannot touch any of your firstborn. Okay, and that is uh, what is called the Passover, because the death angel has to pass over the house. And then, as we come through time, God had a plan. Now it was time for God to sacrifice His Son. So God sent His Son onto earth to be born of a virgin in her womb without the seed of a man. Because man's seed was polluted because like is like, um, so is like. And man was under the dominion of Satan, so he had a sin nature. So. So, Jesus had to be born through the womb of a woman, in the flesh of a man, but without the help of man. So that's why Jesus had to be born of a virgin. Now, Jesus was born, and he was anointed with the Holy Spirit and power. He was, Jesus was God, 
put aside all his godly attributes so that he could walk earth as a man because remember only man had authority and dominion on this earth and it would have been cheating and God is a man of honor and integrity and that was his purpose to send Jesus on earth and he was empowered with the Holy Spirit so that he could do the things that he did and he lived a perfect sinless life and um, Satan came and stirred up the Jews and got the uh, and got the people to kill Jesus which was God's plan that Jesus be killed because he now became the sacrificial lamb for us um, and he was without spot and blemish and he was sacrificed for sacrifice for us but while he was on the cross he didn't just sacrifice for us he took a whipping 39 lashes on his back which was for all sicknesses and all diseases in the world he carried them for you he also became poor that we might be rich through his poverty and that's in first corinthians he wore the crown of thorn which thorns which represented the curse in the earth because a curse came onto the earth because anyone who did not sacrifice a lamb there was a curse on the land because the cursor is the ruler over the land and that's why all these things are happening on the earth today because Satan is the ruler of the earth the cursor and the earth is under that curse and when sin builds up in an area it just breaks open the earth the word says the earth just can't stand it it, it sways back and forth under the sin on the earth so Jesus sent his son, uh, God sent his son Jesus, the perfect lamb. Jesus uh, went to hell. He died. He was separated from God. He went into hell. He paid the price for our sins. He beat up the devil. He took the keys to Del hell, hell and the grave. He rose up from the dead, took his blood as a sacrificial lamb, as man's offering. He took his blood put it on the mercy seat of heaven because earth is a copy of heaven and just like we had blood sacrifices the Jews had blood sacrifices here there was required blood sacrifice in heaven for our sins so Jesus took his blood and put it on the mercy seat in heaven and that that satisfied the requirements of sin so therefore Jesus could now send back the Holy Spirit as his representative to live and embody the people who uh, confess with their mouth and believe in their heart that Jesus did this and that Jesus is alive he rose from the dead and when they ask Jesus to come into their heart the Holy Spirit comes into their heart and you ask him to fill you with the Holy Spirit and empower you just like Jesus did and that um, that when Jesus died on that Friday that's what Good Friday is about although I don't know why they call it good I guess because Jesus was about to raise and then Easter is when Jesus rose up from the grave triumphantly and that is Easter in an eggshell and I'm Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God and you have a blessed Easter and I have one more thing I'd like for you to do I'd like for everybody to say this prayer Father God thank you for sending your son Jesus to die for me I receive everything the blood of Jesus paid for me to have fill me with your Holy Spirit thank you for forgiving me for my sins thank you father that you want me to live like heaven on earth I'm your son in Jesus name amen now you're saved you're going to heaven and you qualify for all the things Jesus did by the blood of Jesus now I'm out and I'm Robin Bremer and you're watching walks with God and I'll talk to you tomorrow you have a happy Easter